Hi, Ryan here at ProSpot. Today we wanted to talk about the importance of destructive testing on the shop level. With today's ever-changing vehicle makeups and the emergence of ultra high strength steels and high strength steels, it is becoming more and more important to make sure that we are testing and doing destructive tests before welding on the actual vehicle itself. Today we're going to show you how to complete two different kinds of tests that are great for in shop. We're going to show you how to perform a twist test and also show you how to perform a peel test. Both tests are very good ways to indicate that your welder is set up and functioning properly before welding on the application itself to ensure proper and safe repairs. There are two different ways that we can complete a destructive test in the shop. The first way is going to be what's called the peel test. And we're going to show you what the peel test looks like. So as you can see, I have two spot welds that I've completed here on an iCar coupon. I'm going to go ahead and clamp this into a vise. Once clamped into the vise, we're going to fold it back and that's going to open up the lip of it. So I'm going to use a screwdriver and just pry up the front of it to give myself a good clamping area for the channel locks. Once the edge is peeled up, I can grab the channel locks. We're going to grab onto the middle and I'm going to start rolling the channel locks backwards. And what we want to see is the nugget stay intact while tearing around the nugget on the bottom coupon. So we'll start rolling the weld back. And as you can see, the weld coupon on the bottom is starting to tear around the actual weld itself. That's exactly what we want to see. The second test that we can perform on the shop level is going to be what's called a twist test. And that's where we're going to have a single practice weld and we're going to actually twist the two coupons apart. And what we want to see on a resistance weld is one of the two coupons having a hole uh, being torn out of it while leaving the weld intact on the other side. Most commonly we can do this test though with a MIG plug weld and when we do this test with a MIG plug weld we want to make sure that the top nugget stays intact while tearing a hole out in the bottom for a successful test. So we're going to show you what this twist test looks like on the shop setting. We're going to take it and put it into the vise giving us a, enough room on the outside to use a hammer. You can use a hammer. There's other things that we can do if we can grab onto this to actually do the twist test. I find that a hammer is easiest. So we're going to start hitting the top and you'll see the coupon start to twist and you'll have to go back and forth. So we're going to hit the top and then the bottom and we're going to go back and forth until the weld breaks. Once the weld breaks, we can see that the nugget stayed intact on the bottom while ripping out a hole in the top coupon and we have a successful test. Now that we've taken a look at how to complete a couple different destructive tests in the shop setting, we want to point out one more thing. Today for the test, we were doing just regular iCar mild steel coupons. Every vehicle is going to be a little bit different and every metal stack up is going to be different. So on the actual shop application, make sure that you're using some scrap metal from the panel that you're going to be replacing. This will help ensure that the weld settings are correct for the type of steel that you're going to be welding.